after our longest passage from Morocco to the Canary Islands, we are in Arecif on Lanzarote. We took us time to explore this very special island. Lanzarote is a volcanic island which has still volcanic activities. Because of that, the earth is still very hot. It feels like being on Mars. Huge areas are covered by lava stones. The stony island is surrounded by wonderful beaches. Arecif is also famous for its fiestas and festivals. This festival is called Arecif en Vivo. My personal highlight was when Asian Dub Foundation was playing at the stage in the marina. For all the bang, Fly over, fly over, can't hear you. Fly over, fly over, louder. Fly over, fly over, stop the back in the only after the river. Fly over, fly over, don't wanna get back up the one and get back from. Fly over, fly over, stop the back in the only after the river. For this one, we want to see everyone from the front to the back, left to right, we're bouncing, jumping, rebel warriors. We had a great time here in Arasif and we met wonderful people, but once there is the moment to go we set sail to the southern point of the island. We stayed four weeks in the marina of Lanzarote. Now we are really looking forward to go to the anchorage again. Our boat is full of water. We have so much water that we will be able to stay uh, one week on the anchorage or longer. But it is so heavy. We can feel that the boat is uh, behaving very heavy and slow. It was not only the heavy boat, there was also no wind. But some dolphins made a short visit. We anchored in front of the marina of Rubicon. We went to visit our friends from the Aquavit catamaran. In the marina it's not allowed to drive without an engine, but we found a solution for that. It will be not the last time we met this young family on their catamaran. The next day we went snorkeling. A catamaran was anchoring close to us and it looked like he was drifting in our direction. We checked the anchor and we saw that his anchor was sitting on the rocks. I just told the guys from the catamaran over there that their uh, lagoon, that their boat is drifting because they set the anchor on uh, stones. And the anchor ball is also under the water. Maybe they didn't um, thought about the tides. So they are already close to us and I hope they will uh, reposition their boat. Yeah. They moved their boat away and found a better spot to anchor. Our friends from the Aquavit left the marina. They had to go to another place to install their wind generator. We also set sail for a short cruise to the island of Lobos.
We left our anchorage and are now on the way to a beautiful place. It is called Isla de Lobos. Our short passage goes from the Marina Rubicon in Lanzarote to the island of Lobos. It's always nice to see to be faster than all the other boats. We are not racing, we are just cruising. We could uh, set the Janakel and would be maybe one knot faster than now. But you know, we are already doing, I don't know, maybe five knots. Let's have a look. Six point four, six point two, six point nine, seven knots. And the wind is eight four. We just hit seven knots and look at our wind speed. The apparent wind is yeah eight point five. We sailed around the island to a nice bay in the south. Because of our shallow draft, we prefer to anchor very close to the coast. But this time we were too close and our anchor was in the rocks. Even when our jambo anchor was holding in the rocks, it was not safe to stay the night like this. We had to go out into deeper water. We found a good holding in about 8 meters of depth. The next day we explored the national park of the Isla de Lobos. What comes next? We sail to the wonderful Papagayo beach and Nicole goes in the air. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Please become a subscriber of our channel. It helps us a lot. Become a Patreon and support our video production.